Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And welcome back to another thrifty video. Today we are heading to the bins. Gio, can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop. <laughs> I am going to the bins today. I'm taking Gio with me, my exchange student. She doesn't have school today, so we are heading to the bins. And I'm super excited because today we are doing another whatnot sponsored video and I'm so grateful to them. I love working with them. Whatnot is a live streaming auction style platform. You have an app, we have it on the web. It's so much fun. I'm going to take everything I find today from the bins and put it up for sale for you guys on my whatnot and it's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be great deals for you guys. I'm gonna pick up things that I would normally pick up to resell myself for 50 to $100, sometimes more. And we're gonna put them directly into a whatnot show. So hopefully if you find some good items today and also if you've not tried out whatnot, you should definitely sign up using my link, my code, because you'll get $10 off your first purchase. So I usually start all of my bids at a single dollar. So a $10 credit could really get you some good free items on whatnot, which is super exciting i love using them it's so much fun we're gonna head to the bins and see what we can find to bring to whatnot but here we go let's head to the bins and see what we can find whoop so we are heading into the bins i've got gu with me we're planning on being here for around two or three hours and then we have to get back for her basketball practice so we are on a mission this table was so cool if you see that it says in remembrance of me it's from a church there's also like a podium and all this other furniture right here that was 50 dollars for that table i was honestly kind of um tempted to buy it and put it in my garage so i could have like a table in my garage but i was like i don't know if that's sacrilegious so um i decided to leave it but that podium is really cool too if you're looking for a podium i feel like that's a great deal it was so interesting to see all of this furniture that had been donated and usually the furniture at my goodwill outlet is like a dollar a piece and i was like wow all of these pieces are like pretty expensive compared to what they normally are charging for pieces at the goodwill outlet which i didn't really fully understand because that's how much they're usually charging at like regular goodwills so i thought that was kind of interesting and now we are getting ready for a shoe rotation y'all know that i love to take you with the sh with me to the shoe rotation as you see, people just start digging in. This was actually not as bad as normal, although I couldn't find very many good shoes, so that was a little frustrating. Um, but I have my GoPro with me. I'm doing my best to get footage of me looking through the bin of shoes, but obviously there are so many people here, and I'm trying not to film people as, you know, instead of the shoes. So yeah, here we go. We're going to search through bucket loads of shoes. It's absolutely insane. Um, what I don't understand about my Goodwill outlet is just that all the shoes are just thrown into bins, but you won't necessarily find both shoes in each rotation. Um, none of them are connected. There's nothing to let you know that they go together. So you just kind of hope that you can find the second shoe when you find one, which is a little interesting and probably not the most effective way to do things, but maybe it just takes more time and they don't want to, you know, coat them. Maybe they don't want to tie them together. I'm not really quite sure. But yeah, I'm looking through. I'm not really finding anything right away, but usually I'm finding, you know, pair after pair. But then I got over here to this bin and I'm kind of happy that I got this on camera. I think it's kind of funny. You'll see it happen in a second. But I'm just digging through these shoes, of course, which I love the shoes. I just find that they, you know, resell the best for me. They're usually, you know, more expensive than some of the clothing I can find quickly in a rotation. And so... As always, I will dig for as long as I can. That one I just grabbed with a Tom McGann shoe, but I never found the, pa the pair for it. But this shoe, this is what I'm talking about. I saw that shoe. I threw it back. As I'm walking by, I see this guy's tub, and I'm like, oh, that's the shoe, the other one. And then I'm like, here you go. You can have both. Um, and, you know, sometimes I think when I'm at the bins that maybe I am not a nice human. And then I look back at some of my footage and I'm like, dang, girl, you are getting it. <laughs> but this basket is so cute. I really wanted to get it. It was so cute. I left it behind. This sweatshirt, this half hood, half hula, that means pray with me, don't play with me. I thought that was so funny. Maybe I should have bought it. I think it had some stains on it, but I just thought it was really, really funny. <laughs> um, but then here we go. I found this pair of Doc Martens while I was in the bins. Super excited about those, and we are getting ready to check out. I also found a shower bench. Like, there's so many good things piled high in our carts. Gio's there in front of me. Everything at my bin is $1.79 per pound. And so um, I feel like it could be a little cheaper, to be honest, but um, I am 
pretty jazzed about everything that I ended up picking up. Also, doesn't this kind of feel very satisfying? Like you're a child riding in a cart again. I love that. Take us back. But I spent $89.50 in total and I'll show you everything I got when we get home. Okay, friends, we are back home and I'm pretty excited. I have quite a bit of stuff here. The first round that I was there, so my Goodwill outlet, my bins, they rotate at least a section of bins every hour. And so we got the rise there flipping the bins and that rotation, I didn't really find very much at all. But then the next hour they got rid of, I would say, every single clothing bin. And so since all the people looking through the bins were more spread out, I was able to find more good items. And you helped me find some good things too. So she did a great job. So again, as a reminder, everything that I'm gonna show you today is literally going to be available for you guys to purchase. Starting at, I'm either gonna start everything at a dollar or maybe $2. It's gonna be very affordable. And the show is February 4th. So if you're watching this, that will be this coming Sunday. I usually am doing a whatnot show every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So that's when you're gonna catch me, February 4th, 7 p.m. Eastern. So let's jump into it. I have good pieces here, very exciting. First up, we have this cute little purple tank top. It has some interesting like details going on. I love this like kind of, it's a halter neck almost, but then it has this cutout and then there's cutout right here too. And I about died. Somebody put this back, but I'm super excited they put this back because if you can't tell, that is a Lululemon little tag. So this is a Lululemon tank top, which is really exciting for one of y'all, <laughs> but really cute. And it has kind of a place where you can put in pads if you want. I looked everywhere in here for the size dot and I didn't find it. So um, there might be a specific place for this. But I would say it's probably a size two or four. It's pretty small, but great find, great pickup. So that's the first piece going in the show. I found some good pieces. This GU found for me and I was so jazzed. I've been having her, when I do my brand video lists, I will often ask her for help and she will help me go through and screenshot different brand tags. So I really have been loving her help <laughs> with that. But also because of that, she's learning brands too because she's searching for them and sees their tags. So she found this pair of cute little shorts. They're really high quality. They feel amazing. They're like a sweat short. And because she's been helping with that, she recognized the brand on this. So I'm very, very proud of her. So this is the brand Mother, which is pretty exciting. It's Mother and it's the Mother Move It. So that is, I think they're more like athletic wear at line. Very excited that she was able to find Mother for me. On the back here on the booty, it says Move It. I think it's so cute. It has pockets, adorable pair of shorts, and these are in a size medium. And so I know that this is a great pickup. Mother jeans sell really well. Mother, the brand in general, can resell. Those would probably go in my store for around $50. The Lululemon tank top, I also probably could sell for over $20 myself, but obviously everything's going in a whatnot show for y'all. I love to be able to at least give back to you guys a little bit for all the support you guys give me. And one of the ways I can do that is by doing these whatnot shows and trying to give you guys items at a really good price. It's a lot of work, so um, I enjoy doing it though. This is a gorgeous little dress and it's new with tags, which is shocking. I found a new with tags dress my last whatnot show and people loved that. So to find the same exact brand is awesome. It is this really cute kind of bluish greenish teal colored midi dress. It comes down right here and then it has a nice texture to it and a slit on the side. It's kind of a peasant style, kind of a square neckline dress. It's really pretty. It's from Arula in a size X. So I'm assuming that's a 1X is my guess or an extra large. It's teal and it is originally $90. So almost a $100 dress in the bins. Oh, and I forgot to tell you my cost of goods. So for everything you're gonna see here, I think I got about 70 items and I spent $89 and like 50 cents. So when I did the math, it's about $1.25 per item. So the reason why I've been thinking that maybe I should do my starting goods at $2 is because I pay more than a dollar for every item. So um, we'll see, we'll see how I feel about that. But I thought for $1.25, that $90 dress, new with tags is amazing. And so is the mother shorts. I'm just like, it's too much, it's so good. This is a nice little athleta dress. It's in there kind of more like scuba material. It's really nice. It's also in a kind of teal color. I like Athleta's dresses. They tend to have really nice details. And the tag is flipped upside down, of course. Did I just rip it? I hope not. Athleta. And it is in a size extra small. 
but it's a nice little dress again for being in the bins for a dollar I'm picking that up for sure then we have this cute sweater also I almost gave it to Gio because I knew she kind of liked it so maybe we'll see if it makes it to the show if it doesn't you'll know it's because I gave it to my um, exchange student but it's a really nice little knit sweater from Ralph Lauren polo Ralph Lauren size large definitely a men's size large it's a white sweater and I just feel like this is very timeless. It's a very classic piece and it could be worn by a woman or a man. So that's ideal for me. I sell a lot of Ralph Lauren pieces. So I'd probably list that in my store around 50 bucks and I probably would sell close to that, maybe around 40 or 50. So love that. And then we did have a few shoes. Although my first shoe rotation of the day, I didn't find hardly any shoes and they weren't very good. The second rotation was much better my location they switched the shoes every other hour so we got there at 11 and we left at two so we hit two rotations which was ideal these are so nice it's a pair of chacos now i personally am super partial to chacos i owned this exact same pair for years i took them hiking with me in africa brought them back and i wore them until they literally broke in half i love chacos especially the black with the two straps and the toe strap so good these are in a women's size seven. If these were my size, I would have literally flipped a lid because I really want a new pair of Chacos after I destroyed mine. Those I'd probably sell for around $35 to $40 um, on my Poshmark or eBay. And I thought those were so nice. The black is so classic and timeless. Then we have this reversible sweater. And the only reason I know it's reversible is because I've sold the exact sweater before. This is from Tommy Bahama. So we have the Tommy Bahama logo back here on the back of the sweater sweatshirt it's kind of an in-between material and then when you do the other side so the zipper obviously can go both ways then you also have its logo back here it's like a swordfish i believe i forget there's a place i think where the size tag is maybe it's hidden i don't know i had two of these that i also got in the bins i sold both of them for around 50 dollars, so i thought that was a good pickup as well the blue on one side, I believe it's a size extra large, like a men's XL. So I think that's a pretty good size. It looks great. Then this is another brand I have sold quite a few times. And now that I've been actually like staring at it, I think it's a swimsuit top. At first I just thought it was another bra because I've sold their bras before, but I'm fairly confident this is a bandeau swimsuit top. I love the print on it. I think it's so cute. And it's from the brand Freya, which is a great and pretty expensive bra and just kind of bust line. And they, I feel like they specialize really in making things that have a smaller band, but a bigger chest, a bigger cup size. So for example, this one is a 34 F, but the other ones I've had have been like 38, like double G, like things like that, where it's harder to find things that will work for you. And so I have sold these for good money before. And then this is a very interesting clasp. So it comes to, a little X in the middle, but you can do, you can undo it like this. Isn't that kind of cool? I really like that. So swimsuit, really cute. I would probably, I sold my last bra I had from them for at least 30 bucks. So still really good, even for something like a bra, great brain to know, and usually really lightweight. And usually bras are not marked up as much in the thrift store. This one is another Polo Ralph Lauren piece. This is polo golf and it's 100% Pima cotton, but I thought this was a really nice just kind of polo shirt. It feels really high quality and it feels really nice. So I decided to grab it. That's what it looks like, size extra large, lovely. We love to see it, we love to hear it. Then I went back and forth on if I should sell this myself or if I should put it in the show. And I've decided I definitely should put it in the show. I just really enjoy selling Disney pieces. And this one's so cool. It is a long sleeve Disney piece but it's a happy holidays one. So it's for Walt Disney World, happy holidays. And then in the background, can you see that? It's 2010, so 2010. So that's officially almost what, 14 years now. So not quite vintage, but right on the edge. But this is from the Disney parks in a size one X. So I just thought that was so cute. Honestly, do I need a Disney shirt? I don't, I really don't, but it is tempting. <laughs> so. I thought that was really cute, decided to grab it. I love selling Disney, I know other people do too. Another good athletic wear piece here is a Gymshark top. It's a cropped top and blue camouflage. 
long sleeve with the finger hole. Very nice. And then also it has a fun little, I didn't even notice this, a fun cutout on the back. And then there's also a scrunch here on the front in between the bust. So it's a really nice top. The tag on it has been cut off. So I don't have a size, but again, this is pretty small. I would say this is a size extra small or small. It's probably a size small. That's what I would guess. So I thought that was really nice though. And I know that people really enjoy Gymshark. So I thought that would be good to pick up. And then I picked up this piece and this has a Goodwill tag. So it was originally, it came from my one of my Goodwills for $7.99. It was there, didn't sell, made its way to the bins where I was lucky enough to find it. It's a cute little romper. It's got some fun floral print going on. It's a cream colored little romper. And it's from the brand Torrid, which is a pretty popular mid-size plus size range. It's a plus size brand. And it's a size two, which I believe is probably like a size around a two X is my guess. I've never shopped there, but um, I do know people that love Torrid. And so I thought that'd be nice too. I wanna make sure I have lots of different sizes of a variety of items in this show, as well as this is another size two from Torrid. I don't even think I found this at the same time, but I wanted to have a couple different fun pieces in there. And they are a pair of leggings that literally feel and look brand new. There's some gold speckling down at the bottom, and then they are a nice green with pockets. We love pockets. And also I've done a brand list where I talked about some of the most popular brands to resell based off of some online thrift store research. And Torrid is really far up there. It's like really high on the list. So I thought that was interesting to note. Then, you lucky dogs, I found this pair of Sorel kind of duck boots. I just have been, I've been selling so much Sorel lately. It's this time of year. I can't keep Sorel stocked in my store. These are USA size four or European size 34. Five. I'm assuming that's a size six. So a women's size six is my guess. Um, I could be wrong, but these are from Sorel and they have kind of a little adjustable pull there on the front and they are in really good condition. And I feel like somebody's going to really find these to be useful. They've got good tread on the bottom. That's what they look like. A pair of Sorel boots. I'm selling them quite frequently for 50 bucks right around there. So for those, I would expect close to the same. And then of course, I don't know why, but I always find Ugg boots in the bins. And I personally think it's because they price them too high at my Goodwills. And I don't know what it's like in your part of the country. You can feel free to let me know. But at my Goodwills, I swear, they are marking all like Ugg boots to at least $20. But a lot of the ones that they have are specific sizes or styles. Some of them are worn, you know? So like, it's a little different story. You can definitely get $20 online when you have thousands of people looking, but... In store is a little crazier, I think, personally, especially when they get them um, for free. But these are a pair of Ugg boots that are really unique. I like these. They have a little zipper on the side. They are in, they're real leather for sure. They've got nice stitching and then the bottoms look like this. So they have pretty, they're in great shape. The bottom where you put your foot is also the kind of signature Ugg fluffy part. So it's got the white sheep fur on the bottom there. And then these, are in a size nine and a half or a European 40.6, which is very specific. I'm assuming this is a women's nine and a half then um, because that's pretty close to my size and they look like they would fit my feet. So very nice pair of full leather Ugg boots in the bins. We love that. And then I think I also got some footage of these. I found these in a just random home goods bin <laughs> and these are a great pair of Doc Martens. So excited to find these. I don't know who put them back and decided not to get them, but I will gladly take them off their hands. Doc Martens, the bottoms look really good. They're a unique style. They have a seam going through the middle there. I think they're cool. Like, I feel like they have a really like kind of fun 70s vibe to them. They're definitely a men's shoe. They're a US men's size 12. And they also are the 11232 style. So I could always look that up, but really pretty good condition for being in the bins. I don't see any holes or extreme wear. And I could take, I do have some Doc Martens Wonder Balsam I could rub in and probably make it look even better. So maybe I'll do that, but I'm pretty, pretty pleased with the Doc Martens in the bins. And I count each shoe individually for my cost of goods. It just helps me out. I don't, I don't know if that's too much information, but to get those for $2.50 total is amazing. Each little piece of clothing here I have for $1.25 is what I paid. 
that's pretty pretty good and then the last ugg i think hopefully are these ugg slippers that gu found for me i think they're really cute they're great and they have the little ugg logo up here on the front and they've got really good tread on them i just feel like they're really cute they do have wear right where the heel goes the fur has been rubbed off but in my opinion looking at it from the side or the top when somebody's foot's in this, you're not gonna be able to tell. So I don't know, I felt okay about it. And I believe these are size eight or eight and a half, size eight, okay. So women's size eight, I think those are cute. And so grabbed them. And then we have this pair of jeans. I found a lot of jeans in one bin and I was going through them and I found some pairs for GU. So she was looking through those. And then I saw this pair and I was like, oh, I feel like all of those guys at my bins who are all about the grungy look totally missed these and I don't know how I found them because it's like not exactly my vibe but <laughs> they are a pair of Harley Davidson jeans I don't know if you can see it on the patch on the back but here they are from the front Harley Davidson jeans and they're in a pretty great sh they're in a pretty good size they have some light distressing throughout which honestly I think makes them look cooler but I thought Harley Davidson in the bins I'll take it for sure and that's what they look like they're a nice kind of mid-wash denim and then they are in a size 42 by 34. So if somebody wants to wear them baggy, they could, or some, I'm sure there's many people that are size 42, 34. It seems like it should work well. So got those. Then just a kind of plainer, then more of a just casual Nike tee. I just thought this one was kind of cute. I like that it says Nike and it says sportswear. But then there's something kind of like dripping. I don't know if you can even see it. But I liked that it had this kind of little gray, like, Thing, twisting through I thought it was kind of cool it's in a size medium from Nike I just thought somebody would enjoy that another Nike piece is this little sports bra which is really cute and in really good condition I thought it was so interesting with the back here obviously it's shaped like this and then it has a little cutout detail in the back really cute and it is in a size small from Nike dry fit really nice and built-in padding of course we have to have some padding in there and then in the same place that i found the doc martens in that random home goods bin i found this true religion t-shirt so it's in a size extra extra large i thought having some menswear in my show would be good and same thing with this one this was also i think in that spot or maybe i found this somewhere else i don't remember but this is a really cool kind of like thickerish material it's not really lightweight like a Hawaiian shirt usually is, but I liked that. It's 100% cotton, made in Sri Lanka from Polo Ralph Lauren, but this tag is definitely a vintage tag. So a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren kind of polo, really cool with a more tropical print. I thought that was neat. And then I have one piece of J-Gel that I found. I love this color, this light purplish pink color is really pretty. And on the back too, we have this little lace detail really cute and i really like the buttons on this as well they're kind of an interesting shape but this is from j gel in a size small and i have sold quite a bit of j gel in my day and it tends to do really well for me i would say i would normally list that in my store probably around 25 35 dollars then we have a another harley davidson piece from this harley davidson kind of burnout long sleeve tee with that blue lining which i thought was really fun but this is for silverton colorado which i think is interesting because i live in the middle of indiana so somebody definitely visited there and brought this back it's in a women's size medium i thought this was also interesting to note it says it's the world's highest harley store at 9,318 feet elevation isn't that interesting like i love the things you can learn from a harley davidson tee i thought that was pretty cool and harley davidson of course super popular always love that we have a hat here a cute little pink beanie and I swore when I saw this interior tag this is the only tag on this I know this tag I have sold so much anthropology that I was like okay that's definitely an anthropology tag I saw it I was like oh yeah that's really cute and then it says imported for urban outfitters which urban outfitters free people in anthropology all have the same RN number and um, kind of are say under the same manufacturer. So I knew it was from one of those three, all three of those I would pick up this hat for. I just thought it was really cute. I just thought it was a really cute beanie. And I was like, oh yeah, somebody's gonna love that. It's absolutely adorable. Okay, we're still trekking along here. Make sure if you guys are enjoying the video that you give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out a lot. And if you'd like to keep watching things like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That would be super duper helpful. 
These are super cute. These are a kind of whitish creamy colored pair of Nike shoes, but these are a specific style that does well for me. They're the Nike Air 270s, which you can tell that's what they are because it says Air 270 up here on the tongue. They're really, really cute. I really like these. Are these my size? They're a seven youth. Oh, so it's a nine for women or a seven for men. I think they're really nice. I have sold Nike Air 270s for like $75, $90 before. So definitely had to pick those up at the fins. Then we have this, which is another Athleta piece, but these are really thick tights. So they're a legging, but they are fleece lined. So they have this kind of pink and purple color scheme going on. But then on the inside, I hope you can see this, it's fleecy and really warm from Athleta. And these are in a size small. So there's parts of the Athleta tag. They have zippers on the legs here. So there's gotta be pockets. Oh yeah, they're very nice. They're high quality. And then they also have the pink down here on the bottom. But again, Athleta in the bins is almost a no brainer. <laughs> so those were exciting. And then G U also found me these. I showed her the black chacos that I was looking for and we found the second one eventually. But then because I showed her that, she found me these cute little gray boots that are also from Chaco. So again, I'm a Chaco fan. I just think that they make really nice <laughs> shoes that are really comfortable and helpful for outdoor activities. These are really nice. And also like it shows hardly any signs of wear, really great condition. And I love that little strap that they have. They're really cute. They're in a women's size eight and a half, which is a good size. So of course those are going in the show. Then we have a few more pieces here. This one is so cute. It is a quilted puffer vest and I love that color. It's pretty bright. It's from J. Crew. So I, I personally enjoy finding J. Crew in the bins. J. Crew is a more expensive brand and it's just, you know, hard to pay that out of pocket, but finding it in the bins, I love. This is a size medium. Gorgeous puffer vest, really would do well probably on my Poshmark. I would probably sell it or list it for around $50. And then we have this little girl's dress, which isn't for little girls. It's a size 11 to 12 years, but I loved this little kind of floral, more dainty, kind of creamy colored dress. It's from Zara Girls. Zara kids stuff does really well in general. And I just thought that was so pretty. So I wanted to save that from the landfill for sure. And then these, I did a little looking up on them and these I think should do well for somebody. They are a very interesting pair of cycling shoes. So me, I'm not super familiar with cycling, but I do know that these looked nice and the comps when I looked them up were right around $40, sometimes more for a pair of cycling shoes like this. They're from the brand Gyro, Gyro, G-I-R-O. As you can see on the front here, three straps, and then they would attach onto a bike. And they're also adjustable where they attach down there. So these are the Salida, and they're a European sporty to a US women's size 10. So women's size 10 cycling shoes, they look really honestly pretty clean. So hopefully those will do well. And then we have a few interesting pieces here. I loved this dress. It really just spoke to me. It's a vintage and tailor dress but I loved the fit and the flow of this. The little fit and flare skirt, really pretty with a little collar. It's a navy blue and it's in a size 12 from Ann Taylor Loft. It's a really fun piece. And then even the little, even all of the buttons I felt like were really special. So I wanted to pick it up. I just thought it was fun. So I grabbed that and then I picked up, oh my goodness, I totally forgot about this. This is all G, you guys. <laughs> I, um, she said, these are so popular. Everybody wants these. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, this, oh my gosh, how am I even going to show this? This is a giant, oh my word. It's a shark onesie blanket. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Oh, gee, you. she convinced me. She's, and she told me that if it doesn't sell, then she can have it. And I said, okay, <laughs> that's a fair deal. So the teeth are like here, you can clip this together and then you lay in it and it's also like a onesie, but it comes down into a fin. I don't fully understand, but she told me they were super popular and they're really cool. It's really soft. It was pretty light. I got it for a dollar. Hopefully one of you guys likes that. I feel like that's a more personal use thing, but who knows? Maybe it resells and I don't even know it. That could totally be the case. And then we have a very fun little pile. 
This, I found one bin and it was just crawling with boys, really nice kind of athletic wear pieces. So I have this whole pile, this whole pile of stuff that I found in this one bin and I am planning on putting this in the whatnot show. I thought about taking this to a buy sell trade store, but I feel like giving you guys a deal, especially if you have, you know, little men in your life, there's a ton of really nice pieces. So like Nike sweatpants, I have champion sweatpants. Almost this, this whole pile is a mixture of Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, and what did I just say? Champion? Yeah. So there's so much good stuff here. So we have, we, and all of it is in a boy's size medium and large. So I would say there's probably like eight pairs of Nike sweatpants in here, which I know are so pricey when you are shopping new. So yeah, those, these two are Nike sweatpants. They're both a medium. I think I'm just going to divide these up and do a couple lots for you guys. There's shorts. There's a few tops. There's a lot of sweatpants. These ones are also a Nike size medium for a boy. Like I feel like this hopefully will give you guys a good deal. I might have to price the bundle at like $5 or something. I don't know. It won't be very much. So I will put all of that aside. There's tons here. Should I show you some of them? I showed you a few. Champion sweatpants, Under Armour and Notre Dame, little quarter zip. This is an Under Armour quarter zip, and I should be saying the sizes too. This is a youth large. All of these are youth larges or youth mediums. These are Nike shorts in a size medium, another pair of Nike sweatpants in a medium, an Under Armour pant in a size medium, an Under Armour short for Notre Dame in a size medium, another Under Armour short in a medium, and then a pair of Under Armour kind of nicer shorts in a size 14. So I grabbed all of those, all those boys pieces, hopefully help somebody out, <laughs> or you can resell them and make some good money. So then we have three pieces left. If you guys are liking this, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. This is a pair of black jeans and they're from a new to me brand, but the brand tag looked pretty nice. So I decided to look it up. It's from the brand Serenade and I saw comps going for about $40 online on Poshmark at least. And so I decided to pick these up and these, let's see what size you are. And these are a size 32. So they're a men's pair of black jeans. I thought they were nice. So I could make some money selling those. So we picked them up. And then this is a really cool looking piece. I think it's definitely vintage. I know that this would do really well on Depop. I thought about selling it on there. And I, of course I have to give it to you guys. It has this cool little kind of drawstring at the hips at the waist so that it can pull in and really give a cool look it's a purplish color with that black it's kind of a vintage columbia anorak so kind of a pullover windbreaker moment it's a really sweet piece and this isn't a men's size small but it definitely runs oversized i would say even a men's size medium could probably wear this as well but i thought that was really cool and super lightweight so for dollar 25 i thought it was definitely worth it and then the very last piece we have here also jingles i don't know if you can hear that but it's this really cool sweater. It's a Christmas sweater, but it is a knit piece with all these really interesting details. These sorts of knit sweaters do so well. I just, I don't know why people sleep on these. This, I would probably list in my store for around 50 or $60. It's a size 1X. And I would just list it as vintage. And people love these things. The knit pieces with the very interesting kind of pictures on them. This one has gingerbread, so cute. That should do well for somebody and I'm happy to be hopefully giving them a great deal on it. So those are all the pieces. That's about 70 items. So um, that's gonna be a pretty good show in my opinion. I'm gonna start everything around a dollar for the starting bid and then you can hop on whatnot and bid to your heart's content and also get some good items to resell or to use for yourself. And again, the show that all these pieces are going to be in is taking place on February 4th at 7 p.m. 2024. So make sure you have whatnot downloaded, you have your card information in, you get my $10 of free money to use on whatnot. So make sure that you go look down below. I'll have a link there for you guys to the show. And also if you use my link, you'll get $10 off your first purchase, which is super exciting. So I will be having all those pieces over there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and also hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And as a thank you to you guys as well, when I do my whatnot show, I'm also gonna be sprinkling in some added things that you're not seeing in this video. So to see what other items I'm gonna have, you'll have to go and watch the show for yourself. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye. Bye. Oh Lord, <laughs> that scared me. Bye.